Just a quick video of the Thinker SE in action. This is finishing up what's going to turn out to be about an 18 and a half, maybe 19 hour print. Um, I have, uh, it's, it's a multiple device holder. You can find this on Thingiverse. And uh, so it can hold everything as big as, for example, uh, on the back. If you look at the uh, back uh, or largest kind of slot, it's large enough for like a folded up um, laptop. A laptop that can fold into two places and become a tablet. You can put that there. You've got a tablet space, places for multiple phones. Um, and uh, this looks like a super handy uh, piece of gear to help organize an office. And it, uh, it's also a chance to kind of show off um, the capabilities of the Area One Thinker SE here. A couple things about the uh, printer uh, that I've done lately. I uh, like my ER20. I've installed a, an, uh, an X-axis belt tensioner. Uh, here, a metal or from Amazon uh, that I got. Uh, I got two of them, and they have worked brilliantly. I just really, I, I think this is like a, a, a one of those almost necessary upgrades. Uh, it integrates with the hardware really nicely um, and uh, allows you some really nice precise control of the belt tension on the X axis, which I think lends itself to some really nice uh, uh, stability and preciseness uh, for your print head movement all you know, just considered holistically. Anyway, uh, again, just about to finish up this print. We're at 96% complete. Basically, it's just going to finish up the top of this triangle. The entire print was done without supports, except for that long bridge in the back for the tallest, uh, uh, for the tallest and largest slot for uh, uh, of this device holder. And I'll give you a chance to look at the. Hopefully, it'll. Yeah, there it did. Focus nicely. That's where we are on the print, 96%, 18 hours, should be finished here in, oh, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes, and uh, and we'll go from there. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, at some point I should talk about this enclosure. I won't do it right now, other than to say that uh, it has done really nicely for me to help avoid warping on the bed uh, by keeping the temperature nice and steady uh, for, uh, uh, it just, it just, helps the temperature changes across the bed as the print is progressing to be less drastic, uh, to speak more precisely. And as a result, uh, there's less of a need for the plastic to warp or, or less of a, the plastic won't have quite the same tendency to warp off the bed as it would when you have pretty large deltas in temperature uh, in the ambiance surrounding your printer. So anyway, I, I, I really like this. This is with the large uh, Creality uh, enclosure, and it has worked really nicely for me. But anyway, uh, that's the changes so far with my Area One Thinker. Um, I mentioned on another video that I've also recently changed my retraction settings. Uh, they are now at four millimeters of distance and 50 millimeters per second of speed for my retraction settings. Just finished another round of retraction uh, calibration prints yesterday, just because I wasn't quite satisfied with the way the printer was handling some stringing issues and some other some other things it was it was printing well but it could print better so we'll see how this these settings work uh, together with the new uh, x axis tensioner um, and we'll uh, update you in future videos hopefully you enjoyed this again if you uh, want to support the artist go to thingiverse the uh, link to the this particular model will be below and uh, donate with a tip uh, if you decide that this is something you want to print and use in your home or your office. Take care and happy 3D printing.